Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm trying to curate for different parts of my home. We live in a renovated home and we're kind of still in the middle of projects. And currently we don't really have that much furniture because of all the remodeling, it's been easier just to have less. And our home is very modern and very minimal. And the things here today aren't don't quite fit into that because I'm a maximalist in some ways, like in my closet, in my shoes, I love to have lots of options. Part of our remodeling, we're hoping to put in lots of shelves and bookcases. And I like everything that's out in my house to be pretty empty, but I do have some, I love little pretty things like who can blame me. And so I want to have in behind cases and on shelves, precious trinkets that speak to me and my husband and our family. So I've been slowly gathering things for said shelves that I don't even own. And so we have a fireplace structure, very modern and linear. And then on either side, we have these cubbies. And I'm hoping to either do built-ins, um, floating shelves that will be wood or um, restoration hardware shelves that look like this. And we'll have them on either side, so very symmetrical. And then I'm hoping to fill these things with beautiful things that speak to me. But the things I have today kind of will go there and they could go in other spots of my home too as we decorate and fine tune. But we're still in the nitty gritty of the remodel. So we've not really been decorating, but I'm really itching to decorate. It's a blank slate at this point. So we're gonna be doing white walls and we have cement floors, so it's very modern. But I wanna add in those warm, earthy materials and tones. So this hall kind of reflects some of that. So to get started, piece number one. I love this sort of rattan look that's coming back in. I don't have a lamp yet for this, but I'm thinking something really minimal and modern, maybe black. But I'll just keep my eye out and I'm not in any rush. I'll just make sure it's the right proportion for this lampshade. So picture this, this was $3. So it has some kind of wear, but I think that just kind of adds to the personality and the lived in look of it. So I love that. This one I love, it's a bowl. And I'm not sure if it's marble or a granite or like a travertine material of some kind, but really heavy. It kind of sparkles in the light. I thought this would be really beautiful set on like some books that I'll show you in a minute, some books that I got, some books in the cabinet. It could also go really nicely with like jewelry or like soap in a bathroom. It could go on like the bathroom counter. So it just adds such an earthy, homey feel and it could go in any part of your house. So I love this. And I have marble in my kitchen and we're putting marble in our bathrooms. So this would go really well in all those places. And it kind of marries the other parts of my house. So, and these look like crystal, have a really nice weight to them. And I have, we just put like, a white simple candle and maybe like a black one to be a little more dramatic and it would just sit behind the shelf on these even empty i kind of like how they look just the, the little pair so and i love sort of the ornate detail because everything else in my house is so minimal i kind of like adding in really ornate like old-fashioned type pieces so i love these okay and then this is like a vintage milk glass so pretty and like precious and again this would look so lovely like placed on a book I just love because our house is so straight lines I love all these squigglies so I love the milk glass so pretty and this would be pretty with jewelry too so I could use this functionally as a bowl or just you know behind you know glass shelves but love that all right next thing these are gonna be a DIY project that maybe I'll show the DIY. Really heavy, really heavy, big vessels. So these are the kind of thing that like at Restoration Hardware, they have ones really similar to these that they charge like two, $300. So these were, I think about $9 a pair. I mean, $9 for each. And I'm sure it was from, for some really cheesy like gender reveal party, the pink and blue, because they were together at the store which I hate this color. So I'm planning to spray paint them like a white or off-white or maybe even like a matte black, I think would be really pretty. So I'm probably not gonna paint them until I know which color I want to go and where I want them in my home. So, but I love these. I love the weight of them. 
Um, these look good empty. They look good with like branches coming out. I'll show some pictures of what I'm kind of thinking for these, but so versatile. These can go outside, inside. So really great pieces. And I'm thinking I might show a DIY. If you, it's pretty easy. I'm not sure I even need to show a DIY. It's just gonna be a spray painting. But it's amazing what a little bit of the spray paint can really change those up. These I just love. It's a set of four. There's four of them. There's four, but I'll show you just. So I don't actually drink alcohol, but I think this is like a martini glass. But I love this like bended um, stem. I just think it's such a fun take. And even though I don't drink, I kind of think they would still be fun like behind the glass, like the set of four of them. So, or even like in my cap, I mean, I could use them for, you know, I drink diet, I, I, do, I drink liquids. So I could put something in it that's fun. My daughter thinks they're fancy. So I can't, because I love such symmetry and angular things, I love throwing in things unexpected because I also love things like this paired with really symmetrical things. It is a really, it's solid wood. It could, it's like a baseball bat, how it feels. But I love adding in the warmth. Since I have the cement floors, we have, you know, really stark black windows and the white walls that we're, planning to paint. Our house has a, it can lean very sterile, but with careful decorating and adding in warm wood pieces, it'll make our home feel warming. So I love this. And I'm not sure if this is a candle holder or just a little bait. I could just imagine like pretty like baby's breath coming out of it. That would be so pretty. Um, so I love this, really nice. And it's really sturdy. So glass photos. And again, I'm, these could these could kill someone. These are so heavy, but beautiful glass, such high quality. And again, I love that interestingness to them. So love the pair of these. I love things that come in pairs. I know they say you should do things in thirds, but I just, I love a pair. So, and everything I have is, mostly even numbers. So I'm gonna have to add in some irregular things to break up all the symmetry, but love, 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 love. Ooh. So big, big, beautiful coffee table books. Beautiful books can be really expensive. I'm not against investing in like, beautiful coffee books, but try the thrift store first and see if you can get some interesting books there. So the first one I'll show is uh, Frank Lloyd Wright, a designer. And this is old and these look, so this is, this particular book from reading it is um, Oak Park apparently. Apparently this is a suburb of Chicago from just reading it through and really interesting. And, and, and looking at the decor, I love these. These look like, my husband's an attorney. So I love, in our old home when we had our house decorated, we had his law books on our shelves. And I love looking at them because they were like $300 a piece. Can you imagine that? Ooh. Law books are real expensive, and so these look like the law books. My husband's were red and blue, but they're kind of the, I'm sure they could be like an encyclopedia. But anyway, fun book, and I may or may not take off the, the cover. I kind of like the black, but this does protect the book. So for now, I'm gonna keep it on, but really fun, really interesting. This is a book that I wouldn't have spent, you know, a lot of money on it, but I think I spent like one or two dollars. So, and I love home design and different things and taking inspiration from these. And some of these pictures in here, I, I love the, being, some of them look very outdated, but here I'll show you. I loved um, the use in some of these homes of like, like this one. Look at all of like the pompous type grass and the greenery, but then the really straight lines or like this, these homes. I love all the green, but then the really straight lines. And that's kind of what I'm going for. Our, in our backyard, we have our pool area and then there's, you know, cement ground. But then all on the perimeter, we have it. It's covered in palm trees and white oleander that blooms so beautifully in the summertime and spring. So I love mixing the really modern with like a lush jungle in the background. So the book that I dropped, this one was Goddess in Art. And this showed like women throughout history of art. So painting, sculptures, from like the, like the earliest that they can find to um, like the Renaissance age of art. So, so like and the pictures in here are just so beautiful. I love this book. Some of it's risque, 
I mean, they're just nudity, but like this lady. So just think that I think it's kind of fun and seeing how they, you know, show the, you know, women and fertility and, you know, be a woman. So I just thought it was an interesting way to look at art. So I love that. And then opposite of art is religion, but I love to collect hymn books actually. So I grew up in a, we think we're musical. We, we all play instruments and, you know, can sing. So I, I grew up playing the piano and play the piano now. Mediocrely to medium to, to moderate player. No, I'm not like a classical pianist. I play classical music, but not very well. But I've always loved hymn books. I have a collection of hymn books that I find at thrift stores. I probably have like five or six. So this will add to my collection. So, and I love looking at other hymn books because, so my church has their hymn book and it's fun to see what other churches have same songs, but to, they have the same lyrical song, but different words, the same words to a different tune. So, and it's just fun to, you know, you know, praise God and Jesus and, you know, look at other people's versions of hymns and for praise. So I love that. So, so I'll show you some things that I got at Target from the Studio McGee line, which I do love and adore. And I love Shay McGee's line. But the thing about that is, Everyone has these pieces because they're really trendy, the Target pieces. So I'm not opposed to them, but I wouldn't want to fill my home with things that you can just buy at, you know, Pottery Barn and Restoration Hardware and Target. Though I love all those things, I like to sprinkle in thrifted, you know, not everyone has, you know, this piece or, you know, not everyone's going to have, you know, these more interesting that make your home you. So well, I just got these at my local Target and I know her line sells out really fast on um, online. So one of them is this vessel. I love the warm colors and it would be good just empty or with some like branches coming out depending on where you wanted to put it in your home. So love that. And this was $20 from the Studio McGee. And then this also was from the Studio McGee line, and this also was $20. This kind of is how I want the, like I'm kind of thinking the same color. And these would be paired, I love the height differences, but in the same color, or I'm really tempted with black too. So, and this has a really good, this was a really good quality. But what you, what you can see is, so this cost $20, and those big ones were only, I think they were nine or 10. So a, a vessel that large at, Target would be 40 and Target's discounted. So imagine that a restoration would be like one to 200. So the, you could get really good deals at a thrift store, but I also like Target. Target fills in the gaps with other great things, but it's just less unique. So definitely love this. Okay, and then this I actually bought on Poshmark because it sold out so fast and I've been wanting it. So I love the warm colors. I love that it's not too risque, but I love the, you know, that it's still feminine and soft. And I'm thinking this would be really good in, it could be good like on a table with other things, like imagine that and this, and then, you know, I can't, I have three hands, but then the little glass things right there, are just so pretty and unique and make it your own. But this I got on Poshmark because it was so, this, was in their collection, I think, one or two ago, and it sold out so fast, and I really wanted it. So definitely try Poshmark and eBay and make someone an offer, and you can get this one too. So love this. I'm really excited to decorate with these different things that I got today. If you're interested to see how I style them and have them come together, please subscribe and follow along, and when I eventually get those shelvings units, I'll be showing you how I'll decorate with them and happy to give you inspiration. So thanks for watching and have a great day. Bye.